Hi, my name is Andrew Hebda. Okay. Five, four, three, two. I know a lot about ticks. Nova Scotia is full of them. Dog ticks, groundhog ticks, there are many kinds. However, it's the black-legged ticks you really have to look out for. Sometimes they're called deer ticks. They're the ones that can carry Lyme disease. In areas of high occurrence, about 40% carry it. Ticks love humid areas and dwell in woodland areas, bushes, and tall grass. Cut down on exposed skin. Tuck your pants into your socks. Use insect repellents, but remember, there are only two types that are currently registered for use in Canada, those with DEET and those with Icaridin. Ticks have become so prevalent in areas like Nova Scotia's South Shore that the municipality of the district of Lunenburg is telling residents and visitors to check for ticks daily. Start with your hair and work your way down. These little guys inject an analgesic that numbs the bite area so you won't feel them on you. Take tweezers, grab the tick as close to the skin as possible and slowly pull it out. Clean and disinfect the bite area. Note the date of the bite. Lyme disease transmission takes about a day or two. Aches, pains, fever, headaches and fatigue, those are the main symptoms. Sometimes, but not always, there's a bullseye shaped rash. Actually, all of the symptoms can appear separately or in combinations over time. If you're concerned you've been infected, see a health professional.